Hey guys, it's Blue25 and Archer 9234. In episode 56 of Ranger Review, today we have the Power Rangers Mystic Force, the Solar Sun Morpher, aka the Grip Phone from Miles and Sai Majin Ranger. Also including the rare limited edition, the limited gold. edition gold Grip Phone. Now, the limited edition gold Grip Phone was really funny how they released it. After they released the Travelon and the regular Grip Phone separately, uh, after a while they had a special edition box which it was a Toys Us exclusive. Um, it had the gold Grip Phone and the Travelon. The only difference was that you get the gold grip from the travel line was exactly the same as the original release. There was no difference. The reason why this happened was because when they released the original gold grip phone, everyone was expecting it to be like, you know, the Maji Mother phone, the Rules Art phone, and, and the regular Magic phone because every time you press the numbers, it would make, you the know, spell, code. spell codes. But for some reason, the grip phone, original grip phone, did not have any spell codes whatsoever. It had random sound effects on each of the buttons. Transformation sound effect. It times out after like 10 seconds. Now, just a warning. This, this, these, these are real cards, but this is actually a hole puncher. It actually is a real hole puncher. So, if, for example, we'll do it again. Thank you, Yushan. You can see it's actually a hole puncher. And what's really funny is, is that uh, you can actually take out, you know, just like a hole puncher. You can actually open up this right here and empty out the cards. Yeah, this functions as a real hole puncher, both of them do. So be careful that if you don't want to damage your cards or make holes in them, try not to hole punch them. So we have the change card, which is you change. The random cards that they have the random spells in. When he summons travel on. And a, a, different. a lighter change card, I guess. A uh, gold grip phone came with the other cards that were used throughout the series, but unfortunately, when I got my gold grip phone, I didn't get the extra cards. It had the memory card and the uh, trivia card. Oh, the memory card. card was used in Magic Ranger when Ho Hoka wanted to remember where they all, where the family went doing the things, and uh, Hikaru Sensei would just put it on and then put it on her head, and he would remember it. That's the difference. The gold grip phone was actually also limited to. Um, they actually had special doing the TV show one. Um, it was it was aired as a uh, mailing video where uh, Kai actually uh, transformed to Kai Shine. He was like all arrogant and greedy. Yeah, and then th that's how this is how this is why the gold grip phone was actually released. Um, other than that, you know, the, the, they're pretty much identical except for the sound effects. And the same size. They have the same gimmicks and everything. But this time, we return the gold grip phone. He kind of actually voices his spell codes. You can do it the manual way, which is the one zero six. Other codes are as eight oh three. This one summons travel on. They use the exact same sound effects that are on, on travel itself. Another code is 886. This is travel on transforming. 26. Twenty-four. And then five eight nine. Then they just recycle sound effects. 807. Pretty much it's the same way as all the other phones. You can do randomized sound effects, it doesn't matter. They all do the same sound effects. 
You'll also notice that on the grip phone and the gold chrome, the sounds are slightly different. On the gold, on the grip phone, it's a little bit slower, while on the gold one, it's a little bit faster. Every other sound that comes from the grip phone is just a random noise. Zero actually activates the ticket sound effect. On the gold one, the ticket sound effect actually operates normally like it's supposed to. You don't need to hit zero, but on this one you have to. Of course the grip phone also has the phone sound effect. Now, auto wise the American one was very, was really, literally different. The difference between the American version and the Japanese version was it was smaller, but this time it was a dagger. Yeah, and instead of including the cards, they actually included some weird dagger, I guess because he's called Dagger On. So they included this weird dagger that plugs into the So it's like these two, those two little pegs here, you plug it in and that's how you would move. Uh, the sound effects were also changed, obviously. They were replaced with the original, the US versions of the sound effects. And they were actually low too. Just like in the Mystic Morpher, which my niece owned, the sound effects was really, really low. Another change, including is the Maji button over here. It was solid and it was connected to the main base of the thing. Another change is, is the antenna type. The antenna on the grip phone actually has some see-throughs and lights. There's no lights in the US one, it's all smaller. The S symbol was actually enlarged on the US one, and you cannot see inside the US version of the uh, solar cell morpher. And the color scheme was really different too. It was a really dark bluish, and the gold was like more darkish too. Now, the, the, the US one also had a prototype version of the uh, solar cell morpher, which was actually better than the one that we got. If you look on the box, you'll notice that the dagger is slightly different. It actually has Solaris Knight's S logo instead of the Mystic Force M logo. And the, um, the button from the Maji Ranger is actually retained on the US one, but in our version, the later one that we did get was the one that was cut off. You know, the, the, the good thing about the Griffon is it has to change cards. Yeah, well, we do see the card in the show. We never actually got it in the toy, and people kind of got confused on that. Now, the only thing I will say is if you have the Japanese Griffon, B1, it is a hole puncher. So, Japan did sell extra cards, so you could like, yeah, know, like there's 30, 40. They, um, just like in Kamen Rider Blade, they released the whole um, Joker slash Ace slash, you know, whatever cards they had. They had a special deck. The, Ma the Magic Ranger, they actually released a small deck too, which you can just keep on pressing, you know, keep on using the hole puncher. Because you got like a whole bunch of like 20, 30 duplicates. Yeah, so you can so always reuse it. They could do this again. And look, I have another one. We do it again. We have another one. So these are the blank ones that you use, and it's it's a really decent, nice toy for a magic phone. It's actually some of those random, unique toys, because who would thought of a phone that's a hole puncher? And you can actually use it as an actual uh, aid, as on a paper, a paper hole puncher. It can work on all kinds of paper and stuff. This doesn't have to be only. So on technically, paper. this is actually a plus for hey. You can actually use it on your and, desk. Hey, look, I'm at work. Let me use a hole puncher. I use my thing. It could be a practical phone. use. It's actually pretty funny how they did. This is one of those random items. Like, oh snap! It actually works even without a toy. So it's actually pretty cool. I would say that you know it's something worth getting. The, like I said, gold, the gold grip phone is only available in the Toys R Us Special Edition box, which included the travel on and the and this gold grip phone. The box art was actually different. It was just a. It was a, it was basically the same box, but it was just simply white. And it had the like special edition in Japanese, and it said something else on it. Yeah, grip phone, gold grip phone. That's all it said. But you know, if you guys want it, get the grip phone. Um, uh, yeah, I suggest you get the gold grip phone and not really the blue one. The blue one for aesthetics. You really cared about that the gold one has actually spell code but the only thing is is that this will run you a pretty penny because the it was a limited edition at toys of us so it's really difficult it's really to hard so uh join us next week for the korak sword and shield from magic mystic force we come subscribe we'll see you next week
Um, after the they released the travel on and the grip phone separate grip phone separately. You left it on. <laughs> you left it on. Well, well, let's do let's do that in space. Let's rock it. Really, like a hole puncher? <laughs> they fell out? Yeah, and you know, the thing falls out too.